Hello and welcome to the iPhone and iPad video tutorial for iOS 7. We are Steve and April Burnett and this is the first video in the series. This is going to be on the home screen and app icons. You'll see we have my iPhone and my iPad up on the screen. So I'll be operating and demonstrating from both of them as we go along. Now the first screen on your device is your home screen. You know it's your home screen or that you're on your home screen because of the white dots at the bottom. So on the phone you'll see there are a few white dots here but only one of them is bright white. The others are gray. If I slide over that dot will move. Same thing with my iPad. They're down here. And If I move that will move as well. Now at any time I can hit the home button and it'll return to the home screen. So I know I'm on the home screen when the white dot is all the way to the left. Over here on the phone the same as well. Now if you notice on my devices my screen is not full or my home screen is not full. If I swipe across you see the other screens are. That's because I've moved them around and I only keep the most important apps that I need on my home screen. Now you can move your apps around too and we're going to do it this way. You're going to want to touch, I'm going to touch and hold this app. You can touch and hold any app to get them to be in edit mode. So I'm going to use photos, touch and hold, and let go. So I touched and held it for about one full second and then let go. Same thing over on my phone. I'll just grab this one. Okay. Now they're all shaking. Once they're shaking, they're in edit mode. Now, once they're in edit mode, you can move them around. and You'll see some have X's and some don't, and we'll touch on that in a moment. But for now, to move an app, once they're shaking, you would touch and grab it. While holding the app, you can kind of move it around. You can change the order of the apps. Say you want this one right here to be your second one in the top row. You can do that. Or maybe you want to set up your home row. Now, if you notice at the very bottom are a row of apps, and those stay there no matter which screen you're on. So you should put your most important apps down there. But if it's already full of apps, then you're going to need to make room. So let's grab one of them, pull it out, let go, and then take another app, drop it down, and you can move it wherever you would like and the other apps will get out of the way and make room for it. So again on your phone to set up your home row pull it up, let go, drop it in. Now I prefer to have my phone app in my home row on my phone because that is the most important app on my phone. And as you notice, when you swipe across, it'll be there on every screen, your home row. Same thing on your iPad, your home row. Now, if you'll notice, up here, there's a group of apps. And on my phone, I have some over here as well. So I might have a group for all of my paint apps or audio or here, finance. And this is how you set that up. And this one over here on my iPad is called Photography. If you want to group some of your apps together, again, while they're shaking, you grab one app and hold it over another one, and it falls in. Once it falls in, it's created a group, and it's going to assume a name for your group. Now, you're probably going to want to change it unless they got it right. If you want to change it, tap this X right here. 
Once you tap that X, your keyboard will come up and you can type a name for your new group. Once you've named your new group, you hit done and just tap anywhere outside of the group and now you have your new group. Now let's say you want to pull an app out of a group. First you need to get them shaking and we do that by touching and holding any one app for a full second. Once they're shaking, then you go ahead and open up your group, grab the app, and pull it out. Grab the app, pull it out, and that group is gone now. Now, we mentioned the X's earlier, and here are what the X's are for. The X's are apps that you've downloaded since you've received your device. Now, if this device is brand new to you and you have not been to the App Store or downloaded any new ones, then you may not have any apps with X's on them. The reason that some of these apps do not have X's on them is because they are native to the Apple device, to the iDevice, and Apple says you may not delete their apps but you can delete the ones that you've downloaded from the App Store. And so to delete the ones that you've downloaded, you simply touch the X while they're in edit mode. It'll ask you to confirm whether you want to delete the app. Now I'm going to cancel because I don't want to delete this app, but if I did, I would just hit delete and it'd be gone. Something to know about deleting apps, if you delete an app that you have already paid for in the App Store, and later on you decide you'd like to use it again, you do not have to pay for it a second time if you go back into the App Store and download it again. If you want to take an app and move it to another screen, again, while they're in edit mode, you grab it, hold it, and you drag it so that it kind of hangs off the screen until the screen starts moving. And you can drag it the other way. So I'm going to do that again. While the apps are shaking, while they're in edit mode, you can grab it and move it to the other screen or back the other way. Okay. So that's it for editing apps, moving them around in your home row grouping apps, ungrouping them, and deleting them. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my home button to get them to stop shaking. Now we're back in normal use. Same thing with the phone. I'm going to hit my home button. Okay. Get them to stop shaking. Now, something that's new with iOS 7 is the little settings option that's at the bottom of the device. So from your phone, if you're using your phone, what I do is I, to get this up, you, you flick it up and I start at my home button, but do not hit your home button. You just want to start here and kind of flick it up and then this comes up for you like that. On your iPad, you want to start at the bottom center and flick up. And what this does is this is a quick access to some very common functions on your device. First we have the airplane mode, and then we have the symbol for Wi-Fi, then we have the Bluetooth, uh, Do Not Disturb, which on my phone I have on right now so that no calls come through while I'm recording this video for you. Then we have lock rotation. You can adjust the brightness on your screen, and if you're playing any music, you can access that right here and, and play and fast forward and rewind it and adjust the volume. Down here, a uh, flashlight, which is handy. You have your clock, so you can access to your alarms, and then your calculator, and also camera. Same thing over here on the iPad, it's just a little different layout. You've got your audio sources here. 
and uh, airplane mode, Bluetooth, pardon me, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb, and lock rotation. Also, we have the clock and camera, and down here again, you have volume control, and then also brightness control, right down there. And this is very handy, quick access to some of these if you want to turn your device on airplane mode or if you want to lock the rotation, say on your iPad, if your screen flips when you turn it and you don't want it to, you can lock the rotation here. And uh, quick access to your camera and uh, also your, your music player. So again, we do this by flicking up right here. So you start with your finger there and just kind of flick up. Flick your finger up across the screen and uh, it'll come up for you. Okay, that's it for video one. We've went over the home screen, the home screen dots, the apps, and how to move your apps around, how to set up your home row, how to group apps and ungroup them, and also how to delete your apps. And we've also went over the uh, quick access settings here at the bottom. Let's see if we can. All right, so this concludes video number one for the tutorials for the iPhone and iPad. We are Steve and April Burnett with Burnett's 1-800 Painting, and wish you a great day.